In 1862, Lauderay opened the doors to their first bakery in Paris, France. In 1930, the French pastry shop invented what would become their signature item, the macaron. In 2011, Lauderay finally arrived stateside with their first U.S. location on Madison Avenue. And in 2014, they opened their first North American tea salon here in Soho. Now Lauderay is opening up their kitchen to teach fans how to make one of their best-selling pastries. So if you can't make it here, executive pastry chef Jimmy LeClaire is going to show you how you can make it anywhere. Hold me close and hold me fast This magic spell you cast This is la vie en rose When you kiss me, heaven sighs And though I close my eyes, I see love in the world of Lauderay, this is where the magic happens. We are in the kitchen at Lauderay Soho, and this is Chef Jimmy LeClaire. He is the executive pastry chef at Lauderay US, and he has made their iconic pastries all over the world, from Monaco to Japan. So I think it's safe to say he knows what he's doing. So what are we going to be learning how to make today? So today we're going to make Ispar, which is the most famous pastry of La Durée, our best seller worldwide, actually. Uh, so it's a macaron, the macaron in both sides, uh, rose butter cream in the inside, raspberry and pieces of lychee. So let's start. Okay. Here we have some cool almonds and confectionery sugar. Okay. We're gonna crush it together. We'll just put half and half for now. And this is just a food processor? Yes, that's a robot cook. How many of these do you think you make in a day? Uh, from like 100. Wow. So are you going to grind this until it's very fine? Yeah, not so fine actually. We want to make that kind of powder. We want to keep some pieces of almond because okay. we don't want something so smooth. We want when you eat the spawn, you still have some A little, little pieces of almond, yeah, some texture. Here at the same time, we're going to start the egg whites. So we're going to do what we call a meringue, meringue Italian, Italian meringue. Okay. It's a kind of meringue where we cook the sugar and we want to put it on some egg white right here. Okay. So what's the texture that we're going for with the egg white? Uh, we're gonna have like uh, the, the pig texture. You know? okay. I know if you did before some meringue. Yeah, so like when you sort of like pull it out and make yeah, the cake, that's how you know it's yeah. good. And what temperature are you heating the sugar on? The sugar, I bake it on, uh, on a high heat on 121 degrees Celsius. Okay. So you can see here we have our powder. So you can feel it. there is some. Uh, is it okay to touch it? Can, yeah. There is some pieces oh, okay, of Okay, yeah, no? you can feel it's it. It's not like a smooth. It has kind of like a gritty texture to it. Yeah. You can feel the almonds in it. Okay. Is there a certain kind of almond that you want to use? Uh, not regular. This almond are from California, actually. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it, I noticed that they didn't have the, the skin the on shell, them. Yeah, the, the are blanched without skin. Okay. Yes. That's how you buy them? Or did you skin them? <laughs> no, you can buy them like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> how many? E spawn. This recipe gonna make... can make um, around 20 e spawn. So the sugar is almost ready. You want to do high speed for the yes. meringue? So high speed first for the egg white to, uh, to go up. And we're going to slow down when we put the sugar. We have our sugar ready. It will go slowly because if you put it too fast, the egg white will go down. We're going to burn it. Little bit by little bit. So you want to be careful not to cook this too long that it caramelizes, right? Yes. Is that too much? Too fast? <laughs> yeah, like this. Perfect. Okay. Take your time. What kind of sugar was this? Is this confectioner sugar? It's, uh, no, it's a granulated sugar. The confectionery sugar, we use it for the, the mix with the almonds. So if you wanted to experiment with different flavors, mm -hmm. where would you incorporate that? You can, for example, instead of put only almonds, you can put, uh, instead of, of putting sugar, actually, you can put some chocolate, like chocolate powder, or you can mix almond and pistachio, if you want to make a macaron pistachio. You can put everything. Perfect. So for the mid time, we want to mix here. We have some egg whites with a little bit of colorant. Okay. Is there a certain kind of color coloring that you want to use, it's like a gel coloring? It's a natural colorant that we use. Yeah. So it depends on the color you want to give. For the spawn, we want a pink color, so we can put some red. So you can play around with yeah. the colors. Yeah, too. sure. So we just. Put it here. You want to mix it? Sure. Raise your hand until it's smooth. So do you want to kind of do like a folding motion? Yeah. From the bottom to the top, until all the egg whites are incorporated in the, in the top of mine. It's actually tougher than it looks to get the color to mix in. <laughs> I spilled a little bit. Is that going to mess okay. up? Okay. <laughs> That's right. So let's say you do this and the texture isn't where you want it to be. Is there any way to, to correct it? 
the texture, so we don't want uh, to have too many big pieces of almonds. So it depends how you crush it also before. So you can always just add a little bit more almond, a little bit more... No, no, it's just a recipe. Yeah. And oh, okay. you scare everything and you have to respect <laughs> so, the recipe. So if you mess it up, you got to start you over. <laughs> so they say that French pastries are the hardest things to master. Why do you think that is? Um, I think, you know, there is a difference between pastry and, uh, and kitchen and savory thing. You go to savory. In the savory part, you can just add by feeling. In pastry, you you really use scale everything, so... It's just like to, a very you exact... You have to respect some rules. What are the rules? Like the temperature of what you do. Like for example, you know, the sugar, I bake it on 121. I don't want to bake it too much. So if you respect all the temperature and texture, you're going to have the, the pastry you want. Is this your favorite dessert? Yes, it is. It is? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite macaron flavor? Uh, vanilla. I love it. So that's the peak you're talking about here. Yes. When you pull it up, it's going to hold stiff. Exactly. And the meringue is just egg whites. Yes. So if whites. you get any yolk in there, it's going to affect how well it peaks, right? If you, exactly. If you put egg yolk, the, the egg white will not go up. It kind of looks like ground meat right now. Yeah. <laughs> you will see. Now we're going to incorporate the meringue inside. So first, just a little bit. Same thing, we don't want the meringue to go down, so if we mix it too fast, the meringue will uh, go down, we're gonna have something too much liquid. But after, we're gonna pipe the spawn. We want to keep the shape, so if it's too liquid, we're not gonna have shape, we're gonna have something. Uh, it's just gonna like flatten out. So does it hold its shape pretty well when it goes into the oven? Yes. Yeah. So if I have some on my hand, is that gonna mess up the, the recipe? Do you not have all that? <laughs> <laughs> a few grams, no, it's okay. So you're not using all of this, or you're gonna I will, eventually? I, will, yeah. I just add a little bit by little bit. Now it looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> so the rose flavor comes in in the filling? So there is no flavor in the, in the macaron. The flavor will be in the buttercream. Inside the macaron, you're going to put some buttercream with rose flavor. So with all of the macarons, is the flavor coming from the filling, not the shell? Yes, exactly. Mine is uh, pistachio, because in the pistachio macaron, there is some pistachio also in the, in the mix. Mm -hmm. uh, the chocolate, because there is cocoa powder also in the mix. But the rest of them, yeah, the filling is inside. And the colors just for just for looks. Yes. You want to mix it? <laughs> yeah, sure. This is very airy but thick at the same time. Yeah. What's this thing? The it's a ball scraper. Oh, okay. Corn, we call it. Could you French. use could you use a spoon or a spatula or probably you not? You can, but it's more it's more easy to use uh, this kind so of thing. To use this thing. Yes. Could you, you can use your hand also if you want. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Definitely would need gloves. <laughs> this is very very sticky. Yes. Could you leave it kind of swirled like this? Or you need to make sure it's all mixed together? You need to make sure it's all mixed together. Because when, once you're going to pipe it, if you don't mix it well, you will have some white and red, you know? You're not going to have a uniform color. It could look kind of pretty, like a marble. Yeah. Did you ever watch Teletubbies? Yes. Do you remember the, the Teletubby custard? Yes. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. OK. So I use a piping bag and a tip. What tip are you using for this? It's number 10. Number 10? Yeah. OK. Show you a few. Okay. You can do yours as well. You put some parchment paper. Can you do this on like um, the sill pad? You can, but the result is not the same. Okay. I like to work on parchment paper yeah, okay. for this kind of. Uh, okay. So that's the shape we want. So if you get a couple of those bubbles in there, is that okay? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Anyway. And you're working from the inside out. Yes. So since you've made these all over the world, how hard is it to get the same flavor and consistency using locally sourced ingredients? Uh, the first, yeah, the, the hardest thing when you arrive in a country is to try the, um, the new ingredients, yeah. So we just make some tests. We, we take a few weeks before the opening to test everything, the flour, the butter, the almonds, until we get the same result as uh, Paris. So the, the idea is to have the same pastry here as you can find in the shop in Paris. So you have to tweak the recipe a little bit for we different don't ingredients? Really, we, we keep the same recipe, we just yeah, we, um, maybe on the temperature or something that we see is different, our oven, so we play with it. Yeah. Well, we was there one country that was the most difficult to get it right? Uh, yes, yeah, in Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah? <laughs> Why was that? Very complicated, yeah. I was there yeah, four years ago. Mm -hmm. It was more complicated to get all the items we need and uh, all the products, yeah. Did you have a favorite country? I love Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of my favorites, I guess. Okay. Your turn. So, just do it from the middle. Yeah, start in the middle, stay on the top, and go around. Oops, I have a gap. That's cool. Keep going. All the way around. Is that good? 
No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Is there any trick to getting the the same pressure on the pastry bag all the way around? No, I just have to stay on the top. For me, I will stay on the top of it and. Uh, so stay like above, maybe. Yes, like up. on the top of it, you know. I just press a little bit. Oh, okay. See? I see. You're kind of letting You're it drop down, down instead exactly. of moving in a yes. circle. Okay, let's see. Does Lottery let you experiment a lot? So we have somebody taking care of that in Paris. Uh, she's uh, responsible for all the creation of Lottery. So she creates new flavor of macaron, new pastries. And then after we have to, we do her recipes. Keep going a little bit more. And you can close. That's wow, great. that is uh, way yeah. better than the first one. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, one week. So when you do the, the macarons, it's it's a smooth shell. Yeah, if you do, you mean the individual macaron? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to do, it's the same, actually, the same recipe, but the process will change a little bit. Like the sugar, we're going to put it faster because we want the egg white to go down a little bit. We want something more more liquid. And then after, when we mix with uh, with our almond, we're going to mix it faster. So we have something more liquid, and when you, you pipe it, it will go, you know what I mean? It will be more smoothy and more... Okay. And we mix also the almond and the sugar for more time. We want like a powder. We don't want pieces because you will see it in the macaron. We want something very smooth. So it's same recipe, different process. Voila. Et voila, perfect. So now we want to bake it for 15 minutes. Okay. On 150 degrees Celsius. Oh, the oven's down here. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. So you see, they kept the shape, the same shape that we, they, as we they did. Kept yeah. the they kept the Yes. So do you want to cool these before you put the filling in? Yes, sure. You have to cool okay. it down, yeah. Otherwise, the filling will just melt. Exactly. Okay. So here we have the rose buttercream. So what's in this? So here it's a uh, buttercream. The buttercream, we do it. Uh, we do a smooth buttercream also, a light buttercream. So we use a meringue italienne, the same as we did before, same meringue. Some butter on the other side, and we do a crème anglaise. You know what's a crème anglaise? Mm -mm. It's like English cream. Uh, we bake some uh, egg yolk, sugar, milk. We cook it up to uh, 85 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. it, they use it a lot in the kitchen for dessert, for plate dessert, yeah, to decorate. Or, oh, okay, the, like the drizzle that they do? Yes. And once we have that, we mix it with the butter, we wipe it, and we mix with the, at the end with the meringue. So there's no actual cream. flavoring in and it? And then we add, the, we add the flavor, the rose flavor. Okay, is yes. that rose water do you use? Or? No, we use uh, rose extract, natural rose extract. Okay. Mm. Where would you get it's that? Stronger. In France. <laughs> Only in France. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't find it here, but uh, here you can find the rose water, the rose syrup, but the rose extract until now I didn't get it. Could you substitute with rose water? You can, but you're not going to have the same flavor. The rose extract is very strong, very powerful. Oh, okay. yeah. So the rose water will make it more, because you will have to add more if you want the same flavor. It will be more liquid. And so, switch your water down not, to pipe yeah, out. It's not going to be the same at the end. So, another piping bag. What gives it this color? Uh, for the rose syrup, there is a little bit of rose syrup also. There is rose extract and rose syrup. The rose syrup has some color. So, what is the right cookie to filling ratio for this? Oh, it's by eye, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will see how we do. So, we just take the nicer shape we have. I will start in the middle. Too much. Can you yeah. can you do a count or are you just really just you gotta eyeball it? Yeah, because I do it every day, so but for the, at the beginning you can count maybe. Yeah. Yeah. How many counts do you think? Depending on the pressure you have, yeah, one, two, three. But it depends <laughs> if you press too much. Or... It depends on how fast you count, how hard you squeeze. Up, raspberry in the middle. Here we have lychee. Do you know the lychee? I do. Yes. Yeah. So my dad used to buy these in like the bags and yeah. peel the shells off and eat them. That's so good. So how do you buy these? Do you buy them fresh? Yes, we buy them fresh, yeah. Because you can buy them in jars too, right? Also, yeah, yeah. But we then they're prefer. too syrupy? Uh, it's good to change a little bit, yeah. I prefer fresh. So we put raspberry all around. And then a little bit more on the top, just enough to stick the second part. And then we proceed to the decoration. On one side, I will put the raspberry. So you get a lot of families that take this class? Because you can have yes, kids here, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. We have, we have different classes. So I have class for adults and class for kids. So we don't do the same because it's, sometimes it's too complicated if I have kids from six years old. Or, right. So we just play with chocolate, with a shoe, with uh, different stuff. Yeah. 
So you kind of customize the class depending yeah. on who's here. Yeah, you can. The final touch, we pull neutral blaze to make it look fresh, like on the morning. That's really pretty. That really does look like little dew. Yeah. I, <laughs> I totally would have thought this was glue if I saw this in like a display. <laughs> Up, you turn. All right. That was a lot Actually, to remember. Choose your own. Okay. Pick a good one here. Okay. So this first. Yes. Then this guy. And then you kind of just. Put like make a ball in the middle. A little bit more. Okay. That's good? Yeah. Okay. Now. Raspberries. Push it down. Push it down in there. Yeah. Okay. Now you can put your lychee all around just the Just do raspberry. little slices. Yes. You want to put like three pieces. Okay, is that too much? Or okay, that's yeah. perfect? You can really smell these. Just make it up. You need some space to put, a, okay. put some more raspberries. Take your raspberry all around. I don't think mine, mine are good at fit. You have to follow the shape of the spawn. You know, okay. And go outside. E spawn? Spawn. No one can say that, can they? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody has a hard time. <laughs> Every time, yeah. E spawn is the name of a city, actually. Oh, is it? Iran, yeah. Famous city, they are famous for the roses. Oh, okay. Mm. So that makes sense then. Yes. It's like a tight fit here. There we go. And then... One drop, yeah, on the top of the raspberry in the middle. Okay, good topper. So you keep, see, that's uh, where we close when we pipe it. We have the closing here. So that's why we keep it at the back. Because okay. Because we, we don't want to see it in the front. So... So exactly like this, yeah. Right here? Yeah. And you just cover that later with like a... With but your decor. You don't see because once you have the rose petal, it will be you at the back. You won't even see so it. Yeah. I want to see if mine looks the same. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, great. Okay. So you're going to put one... A tiny little guy here. here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And here? Yes. Perfect. Boom. Then here you can put one raspberry laying down. I'm like... <laughs> I'm just looking at yours. It's like a coffee. Okay. There you go. A little bit more cream just to stick the Ladurée sticker. On, on this guy rubber, here. Yeah. Okay. Tiny bit. So, do you, are you going to need a lot of special tools if you wanted to make this at home, or would you re not recommend making this at home? You can do it at home, actually. If you have a kitchen aid, uh, if you have this machine, or you can also buy uh, almond powder and make, you know, it will be a diff different texture, but you can do it at home. Yes. Okay. Rose petal. This way. Perfect. And the final touch. Okay. And what's in this? Just that? That's neutral glaze. So Valentine's Day, you do these in a heart shape, right? Exactly, yeah. Have you ever done any other shapes? Uh, we, we, for the big size, actually, anyone, anytime we do a big size, we do it in a heart shape. So the individual is wrong. Four packs, six persons, eight person, it's a heart shape, yeah. How would you eat this? Is there a proper yeah. way to eat this? You would take out the rose petal and just slice it in two or four. So kind of like a fork and knife? It depends on everybody. <laughs> do people pick it up and eat it like yeah, a sandwich? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It yeah, seems like it would be a mess. You just have to leave it outside because now we're going to put it in the fridge. So when you want to eat it, you will leave it outside for like 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. because you don't want the buttercream to be so hard. So you just leave it outside for 15 minutes and then you can eat it. Yeah. Let it get to room temperature? Yes. And then, do you make this at home? I never, no. I no. make so many at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you even cook at home after you cook all day? Uh, yeah, but savory. I like to bake savory, yeah. Yeah. I don't cake so yeah, sweet in at home. Yeah. Do you like sweets or? I love sweets yeah. too much. Me too. <laughs> After the class, you can take your creations to go in a signature lottery box and then head up to one of the dining rooms or outdoor garden for a complimentary traditional high tea and obviously some macarons. The classes are about an hour long and are all taught by Chef Jimmy LeClaire. Bon appetit. Hold me close and hold me fast This magic spell you cast This is love beyond closure